What's up you guys? This is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at NEO stock. Guys, this week NEO has its earnings and there is going to be a sentiment shift up or down either way, right? So definitely you gotta get prepared how to watch NEO stock this week, right? So we'll take a look at important key levels, the price action, the patterns, what it's doing. And also I'll take you over a couple of articles that you need to be aware of before going into the earnings this week. So Definitely a lot of important things to cover guys. Please throughout the video pay attention because uh, these things are important if you are a NEO stock investor. Now um, we have an expectations of revenue of 2.55 billion and earnings unfortunately they are still lost. Well the company is still in loss right so earnings are still negative. Last time they missed on revenue which was 2.6 63 estimate and this time actually it's lower so if they miss it then that's a problem but I don't think they will miss it their last well we will see so um, well their earnings were great last time they were 11% to the upside they're still negative though um, but let's see if yeah and I think they should beat this as well because the, they beat it last time on the estimates so yeah they should be able to so we'll see guys but anyways uh, let's go over a couple of articles first now talking just about that um, I just want to tell you that there this is neo monthly deliveries January and February hasn't been that great you can see here dips uh, their last quarter was quite good right the Q4 of the last year um, and you can see actually here we go neo quarterly deliveries um, they were quite good um, the Q3 and Q4 so but we'll see what the earnings comes out like um, uh, yeah I think they should be high and we will see if they have some other revenues coming in but some interesting things to talk about on NEO is you know uh, NEO says it's NOP plus assisted driving feature works nationwide in China recruits first hundred testers so um, what is this is that further demonstrating its algorithm ab ability to adapt to different traffic rules and driving scenarios Morgan Stanley said um, Feature is now available for use on virtually all roads nationwide in China, a day after a similar development was announced by local peer Xpeng. Harry Wong, the electric vehicle maker's head of smart driving products and experiences, announced the development in a March 1st post on the Neo app calling the mode unlimited mode. Um, yeah, so in particular, the scope of nationwide here refers to all administrative regions in Chinese mainland, Macau, and Hong Kong special administrative regions and Taiwan province um, yeah so guys uh, that's one of the you know and some news is coming out now just because their earnings is around right so Neo EV tech signed deal on parts for a high voltage system Neo has entered into a strategic cooperation agreement with a local component supplier backed by Neo capital to co-develop and manufacture components for high voltage system applications um yeah so two companies will work together blah 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 not that important guys so neos will this is funny neo williams lee asked potential tesla model why buyers to wait for alps first model i will see well what they say okay let's see i that's a crazy statement though why would you ask someone to wait you should be in front ahead of the other competitors right so but anyways the first model from Neo sub brand code named Alps will compete with the model Y and the electric vehicle maker CEO is, is asking potential buyers of Tesla cross over to wait for the model. Alps first model will support battery swap and it will charge faster and have a bigger screen. Neo founder chairman CEO William Lee said in a user communication, those who have been looking to buy a model Y recently can wait for a while, blah, blah, blah. All those who are planning, wow, okay. Alps first model pilot car had rolled off the assembly line last October and is undergoing non-stop optimization Lee said um, the Model Y is one of the models Tesla is producing in China the one of the yeah the Model Y is currently offered in three versions in China with the starting prices of $36,000 onwards and they don't get the conversion of the rest is its entry version is single motor model while the other two are dual motor models Alps first model code named Dom is expected to hit the market in October this year. Wow, okay. 
you know, that's just too much of a weight they are asking. And I I have seen Neo has a habit of kicking can down the road as much as they can. So not a good, you know, thing. Um, all right, you know, this is just too far out, guys. People who want to buy Tesla summer, they're going to buy Tesla this summer. They're not going to wait until October, right? So anyways, um, okay, that's that, guys. And yeah, that's pretty much some of the, you know, we have news on articles. Definitely the news, uh, the earnings are coming out. But now let's jump into the technicals, you know, what to do, how to do it, what are the areas you are watching. Um, here we go. So earnings are on Tuesday, guys, Monday and Tuesday. So guys, Talking about the technicals on daily interval, so Neo is in this you know downward triangle right now, and it tried to form in what it had in shoulder the last time we covered it, right? However, it failed. It tried to go up, and then a false breakout over here, and then it failed. Came back lower down here, the same, almost the bottom, five dollars and thirty cents, and. This is where you can see is that at least a double bottom for now. Now, where does this double bottom confirms that it's going to the upside? That's the important level also marked by my indicator. Again, guys, if you need access to my tools, links are in the description below. And this is where we have the um, this, this line, right? So I have highlighted it right as well on top of it. So because this is the area we are focusing for uh, where the price section is right now. So. Um, and guys, so yeah, this is where right now this thing is finding, trying to find the double bottom. And if it breaks, let's say Monday, tomorrow, five dollars and eighty cents and above, there's a chance it may run all in or all the way till earnings. It may run up to six dollars and seventeen cents again, and maybe a little bit higher. But yeah, the break above five dollars and eighty cents is critical at this point because this is where also that level is, and also twenty days moving averages. So we got to break out of it. If Monday starts to go lower guys um tuesday earnings you know it depends what really they come out with you know this thing <laughs> technically though um you know it's not fully bullish it's only technically until tuesday like yeah if it breaks above five dollars and eighty cents before until earnings it can run up to six thousand you know 33 cents but i think neo has their earnings in the morning yeah well guys before the market opens so you only have monday so if it breaks out of five dollars and eighty one cents that's good we want to see this positive little bit sentiment going into the earnings so that shorts are the sellers or short sellers are not able to just push them push it quite much lower right but if it fails and rejected five dollars and 79 cents guys then only a gap up can save you through the earnings otherwise nothing else so this is a very tricky shot on neo i'm going to also turn on the short volume percent here on neo to uh see if there are short sellers oh you know what guys <laughs> Wow, you know, short sellers were really trying to push it lower here, guys. 29%, that's high. At the all-time lows, they were trying to make make it much more low, guys. Wow. Ooh, that's scary to watch. Luckily, it didn't go. You know, it's going up. And this is where it's important if we break $5.80, this will squeeze out all those short sellers. A lot of momentum buying will start coming in, and that's what we want to see, right? So... Yep, guys. So yeah, that's that's it is guys, um, you know, so watch watch for that, you know, that level that I just talked about very important five thousand eighty cents. Now let's go to the hourly interval. And let's talk about a couple of things and I'm going to take it to the weekly interval as well. So let me just a couple of things on my indicator. I'm just going to do intraday depth level low. It's a low volatile stock. So all right yeah guys that's this is the very critical level five dollars and 79 cents to 80 cents is also now you can see we have this 200 hours moving average here and this important levels price we got a break out of it very important you can also see that um the bottom of the triangle we have almost hit here right so um and then yeah it's important for us to break tomorrow five dollars and 80 cents so that at least neo has some positive sentiment going into the earnings and then guys to the upside you know, um, you are watching the level of six dollars and sixteen cents and six dollars and thirty-four cents. This is an important area for Neo to break right now before we can talk anything of the upside. So I'm going to bring this level down here because this is the level of importance now. So yeah, guys, very important. Otherwise, uh, don't expect much from Neo if it can't break above five dollars and eighty cents. Um, then yeah, we are watching six dollars and thirty-four cents. Eventually, the Neo has to break out of this downward trending channel as well to go to seven dollars as well now so it has an uphill battle here right now so let's see if earnings 
changes the outlook for NEO stock and gives it some push. But as you can see, this another level that we have, $7.12 or $7, um, you know, uh, that's still a resistance zone, guys, on NEO, which is on the weekly interval. As long as NEO is not, oops, sorry, not monthly. Monthly will be scary, I guess, as well on NEO right now. Weekly, guys, so uh, NEO technically, you can see where it is. It is still on the weekly though in the downtrend. Weekly, it's not getting bullish until unless it's not breaking above seven dollars and nine cents or so that area zone. Okay, so let's see if earnings shifts it, and then as I said, it has to break above six dollars and thirty-three cents as well for the near-term bullishness. And then now we really have to break above this upper trend line channel as well. And you can see twenty weeks moving average is also at that important level of seven dollars and thirteen cents. So it's important to break above it, guys, for any time long term if Neo needs to get bullish or some upside. Okay. Well, guys, this is it for this video. Hope you found it helpful, valuable. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe. I'll see you in my next videos, guys. Take care. Bye.